So the summit here is showing 100 levels slash floors. Shouldn't there only be 99? What New York skyscraper has the 13th floor? Hey yo! Welcome all to IG West 6 Games, the gamer show that brings you a variety of entertainment and content. But in here, before I kick things off, I'd appreciate the love by y'all sharing and hitting those icons and the clicking. With that said, check out the social media where I post daily and keep in touch with followers. Now let go. Alright y'all, let's cover Skyscraper. Everything that we know to date before the PTS is out, which drops today by the way. But let's cover what we know so far. It's the newest PvE game mode. That's coming out with title update 11 targeted around September 21st, I believe. So that's about three weeks away or two weeks and some change. Now, this is PVE game mode, PVE only. The summit, which is its proper name, the summit is going to have 100 levels, 100 floors, however you're going to refer to it. And all these levels are going to have random objectives per floor and random factions per floor now with these hundred levels you're gonna have difficulties change ask you ask you as you ascend the tower the skyscraper let's call it and let's get this out the way yes this is a free DLC it's free we can't bitch about that can we no we can't it's fucking free. Let's deal with it. Let's have fun with it. All of the summit is one target loot. It only makes sense. You can't have multiple target loots. Like say, <laughs> say tomorrow or today, target loot is Providence. Now you most people are gonna want to go farm the summit. Now you don't want to bother with like the first 50 levels. Where it's just normal through challenging. You're going to want those 51 through 100 obviously. To get your best chances at great rolls with Providence. Now unfortunately this is back to old school. It's only squads of 4 or less. This is not a raid or anything. You're not going to be having squads of 8. It's limited at 4. Now the devs are referring to the summit as this big hybrid super just all meshed in one pve game mode but to me after looking at the gameplay it just looks like the underground from td1 on steroids you got a fucking hundred levers it's gonna be a big ass grind but a fun one because i'll get into that right now with the floors this is how they have it laid out they have floors 1 through 10 is normal. 11 through 20 is hard. Now here's a kicker. Here's a little jump here. 21 through 50 just monotonous fucking challenging. So you got floors 1 through 50 at the hardest is fucking challenging. So that's going to be kind of just let's hurry up and get through that shit. Now 51 through 80, that's all heroic. We get 30 levels of heroic. Not bad. And then to fucking finalize this, to cap it off, we get fucking 20 legendary floors. 20. That seems fucking... That is exciting. Other than the legendaries that we have now, the three strongholds, we got now 20 levels on the summit that runs for legendary difficulty. And now I'm going to drop you into with the um, the global, not the global, the directives. There's certain set directives. As you can see right now, we got on levels 31 through 40, one directive. Levels 41 through 50, three directives. Levels 61 through 70, one directive. Levels 71 through 80, three directives and to kick it off levels 91 through 99 four directives and the big boss daddy at level 100 four directives as well 
So, let's just say that legendary shit, it's going to take a strong ass squad. I'd imagine you need a healer. Oh, who gives a fuck? I'm not going to delve into that shit. That's some challenging grind here. Now, this is supposed to hold us <laughs> until the next thing they add in. And that's, from what I'm hearing, they don't have any real plans in adding new game modes here in any kind of future. They're waiting on uh, January to see if they're going to keep the server still up. So, let's cross it. If you're a dedicated TD2 agent, let's hope this is a big success and brings people back. Because TD2, they're on their last legs. Now let's dive into a little deeper on how these floors work. Levels work. However you're going to call them. Each level is equivalent. Equivalent. Jesus, can I speak? Each level is equivalent. <laughs> Take three, equivalent to one to three big encounters. Each 10th level are boss levels. And once you get past that boss, say you get past level 10, you now have a checkpoint and you can start at level 11. Say you get past boss 40, you now can get in, you can get off the game. Next time you get in, you're starting at 41. So you gotta get that checkpoint at that boss. You gotta beat that boss to secure that checkpoint. Now, as Hamish describes this, every 10 levels, floors, is equivalent to a stronghold. In difficulty, he says. Now, speaking for XP, every 10 floors is, is equivalent to, again, strongholds XPs. Now with the bosses that drop on every 10 levels, they drop what's equivalent to, a, oh shit, did I say? Yeah, strongholds drops. So you'll get, what, what that means to me, what that means to me is that you're going to get a named item guaranteed drop after every boss kill. Well, Iggy, what if we wipe? Well, I got that answer for you, baby. Let's give you three examples, and by the way, this is how they describe it. If you wipe before bosses, it works with, like, every three levels is kind of a mini checkpoint. So I'm going to throw out here three examples. Say you wipe on floor eight, you'll get put back to floor seven. Say you wipe on floor 33, your ass is getting dropped two now, you're going down to 31. And the big daddy, what if you wipe on 99 before that big fucking checkpoint to get to, well actually, the checkpoint, yeah. So 99, say you wipe, you're going back to 97. An easy way to look at this is say levels 1 through 3, so you get past level 3, that's a mini checkpoint. Get past level 6, another mini checkpoint. Get past level 9, another mini checkpoint, and you're staying with the boss. Of course, when you take down a boss every 10 floors, that's your checkpoint where you can actually leave and come back and get back to that checkpoint. But if you, say, get to 37 and you're done for the day, you're going to be coming back at that checkpoint at 31. So keep that in mind while you're playing. Now let's cover... They asked in the questions during the state of the game, are there going to be rogue agents and they're going to are there going to be hunters as well? Rogue rogue agents? Yes, that has been confirmed and they will spawn randomly. God damn if they spawn in a fucking legendary. Oh shit. And then they asked, are there going to be hunters spawning? And they really they didn't give a quite clear answer as to it's not going to happen. So let's put that at uh, TBD. Let's have it at to be determined at the time. Now, one thing I want to fucking cover here that I found annoying is that there were purple drops, as you saw in the gameplay. Now, those purples, obviously, because you're working through the difficulties of normal 
and they're also going to drop for the hard. So the for, for, for those first 20 levels, you're going to be seeing some purple. So I'd rather just have no fucking drops. But for some reason, the devs think a drop is good. A drop excites us. I fuck, man, when I see purples, I just think, why the fuck did this just drop? I don't want this shit. Nobody wants this shit. So they could have went without it, but it's in the goddamn game. And that's it. That's what we know so far of the summit. I told you the release date or the estimated September 21st. I'm guessing we're going to have a PTS, which starts today, Friday, September 4th. I'm guessing this is going to go for a two-week span of PTSing. Unfortunately, of course, it's only PC. I finally did my grind. I hope I did it in time. And hopefully I'm playing this PTS while you're watching this video. I will be giving feedback. I will be that console gamer that represents us Xbox and P PS4s. Oh, fuck. Don't forget about the other guys. The Stadia guys. I'm going to be repping y'all and giving them notes because I'm going to be playing with my PS4 controller. Hell no, I ain't doing no keyboard and mouse. Tell you the truth, because I don't know how to play with keyboard and mouse. <laughs> but that covers what we know of the summit so far. I hope y'all got what y'all wanted, agents. I hope y'all got some lessons. I hope y'all got some knowledge learned just now. Now I still don't have a proper outro. So I'm just going to leave y'all with this. Please like, subscribe, and all that jazz. And as always, agents, I say peace. Yeah, no.